Hi guys, so uh, welcome back to another update video. This is probably the last update we're going to do on this one because it's pretty much ready now to be um, let out. Although we're unsure whether we're going to let it or we're going to sell it. But more than likely it's going to be let. So this was the house, if you remember, that we bought um, at the beginning of the year. In fact, there was snow on the ground on the first video. So if you want to go back and watch the previous videos, then have a look out for those. We'll put a link at the end so you can go back and watch the the, uh, the first videos. So this is a two bedroom terraced house that if you remember from the first video, it was just full of junk everywhere. Uh, it was in pretty poor state. There were stains on the carpet, the kitchen. Um, it was, well, it was disgusting. There was rat, dead rats everywhere and electrics were all dodgy and, and, and lots of other things. So, um, so in the end, uh, if you remember, I was talking about the electrics. So in the end, we actually had to do a full rewire on this house. So the electrics were that bad that we did a full rewire uh, we put new flooring down, we put new skirts in new architrave, we've um, plastered, skimmed all the walls and uh, had it decorated, so it really is um, brand new now. It's all, um, the only thing we didn't do is we didn't put any central heating in because it already had storage, it had economy seven night storage heaters, so we kept those, we didn't bother putting any central heating in. Uh, we tidied up all the garden, put a new uh, gate uh, door on the shed, Tidied up the conservatory. Uh, we've still got to do some work on the roof. But um, yeah, it's, it's a massive transformation from when you first saw it and um, everything was just, just uh, trashed. Tra uh, trashed. <laughs> so um, let's have a look at the kitchen. So yeah, so it's had a brand new kitchen, uh, brand new doors throughout. So we've also put a new, a new, uh, new glazed rear door on there. Um, so yeah, we just ripped everything out. We put new kitchen units in. So uh, yeah, um, so when you see the uh, kitchen coming up in a minute, that was actually a video we took on the day that the kitchen was installed. So you're probably going to wonder, well, why is there all tools here now? And then the uh, the B-roll footage, as we call it, has got uh, has got nothing on it. So that's why there's a kind of a um, a disconnect with the two videos, just in case you're wondering. So yeah, so new kitchen, uh, new units. Um, everything was new, new flooring we put down in here, so new laminate flooring, uh, we put new extractor on. Literally everything has been replaced. So that's the kitchen, let's go upstairs and have a look upstairs now. Okay, so in here, so if you remember before this was the room that had all stained carpet and uh, stains on the wall, mould everywhere and damp, so big transformation. The only thing we're waiting on now is the carpet, that's going to be delivered next week. So um, yeah, it's all nice and fresh and as I say, all uh, brand new electrics and rewired. So um, so yes, this is the, the largest room and then just moving on through to the smallest second bedroom. Uh, again, new doors and um, skimmed and paint, new electrics, same as the rest of the house. And moving on through to the bathroom. So this was really bad before. So yeah, this was really bad before, but now we've, so we've just got a single shower unit in there, electric shower, brand new wall paneling. The rest of the room has been replastered and then we've just put a new uh, pedestal and basin and, uh, and toilet. So yeah, just fairly standard stuff, really new doors, new skirtings, new laminate uh, waterproof flooring. Uh, so yeah, that's the, back, that's the, that's the bathroom, fairly, um, Fairly standard. So, um, I know you're all dying to know about figures. So, we bought the house for 110,000, okay? When we bought it, we didn't realize we were gonna need to do any rewiring. So, what we've had to do is a rewire. So that means we've changed all the sockets, we've changed all the pendants, we've rewired the kitchen, we've rewired the shower, and the storage heaters, because it's got these storage heaters, okay? It doesn't have any central heating as such, so it has a water tank powered by electricity for the hot water, and then it has storage heaters, which you can see here, which are night storage heaters, so they use electricity overnight, they ch charge themselves up with, with, um, with um, heat, which gets stored into some bricks inside, and then in the daytime, those bricks release the heat, and that's how it warms the house up, okay? So we didn't put any central heating in because um, we just wanted to keep the cost to a minimum. And also, we're probably going to rent this out, okay? So if we we're going to sell it, then we might have done it to a higher spec, okay? But it's probably going to be rented. So that was the electricity. So then we put a new kitchen in. So the new kitchen involved a hob, a cooker, 
all the units, and then two work surfaces, a small one and then a larger one, okay? In that kitchen, we also plastered everything, so the cost of the kitchen involved plastering, we had new tiles on the wall, and new flooring, okay? We've actually had new flooring throughout, so that's, let's move on to the flooring. So, we put laminate flooring downstairs, as you can see, and then upstairs and on the stairs, we put carpet. In the bathroom upstairs, we put waterproof laminate, and while we're on the subject of the bathroom, let's cover that. So the bathroom, we put a standalone shower in there. We've put a brand new shower unit in there. So the base, doors, we put a sink, pedestal, and a toilet. And I think I just already mentioned it, but we also put in the waterproof laminate flooring, okay? The rest of the house had completely replastered, especially after we'd done all the electrics because the, the walls were in pretty bad shape. So we replastered the house and redecorated it. So the figures are 110,000 to purchase. We spent 15,000 pound on the refurb. That did include small amounts of building work like the chimney there that we've taken out and bricked it up and plastered it back up. So we've spent 15,000 on the refurb. So that's 125,000 all in. And the house is worth somewhere between 170 and 180. I haven't had it valued because I, I know the area, I know what they're worth. So that means we've made between 45,000 worst case and best case scenario 55,000. Um, we are now going to more than likely rent it out, but if we do rent it, what we'll do is we'll refinance the property to pull out our cash, and then that cash can then be used on the next deal, okay? So that's how we, we typically operate. We'll buy with cash or with investors' funds, and then we'll refinance it to pull that cash back out, or we'll sell it, which will ultimately replace the cash. If we sell it, obviously we're going to make more money because it means that we haven't got to leave 25% in the deal. But if we refinance it, we have to leave 25% equity in the deal. So it means that we have less cash available. So more than likely on this one, we're going to rent it. So um, that's it, guys. Hope that's been useful. Um, this is probably the last video we're going to show from here because carpets are going to be fitted next week. And if we do decide to let it, which 99% um, chance we are, we advertise it and we get tenants in straight away. Okay, so it will be let before we have another chance to come and video. So this is pretty much, pretty much what you're gonna see. Um, the only thing I haven't covered is that we did a small garden, bit of garden work and we put a new door and stuff on the shed and just covered the garden. But if you've got any questions, then type them below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss these um, videos like this and any further updates that we do. And uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.